Alright, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel here today. Well, today I just felt like doing like a chill video and uh, doing a video that I planned on doing at the end of the year. And I usually do this at the end of every year. Uh, I did it for the past two years or a year last year, I think. Uh, this is my end of season Fortnite locker. I'm only going to do my skins. Uh, like I said, this could be a very long video. So guys, without further ado... Welcome to my Fortnite locker. So we're going to start from the top and work our way down to the bottom. I'm not going to explain every single skin. Uh, I'm just going to go through them. So we got the Fallen Love Ranger, the Fallen Love Ranger, Frozen Love Ranger. I guess they're the same thing. The Frozen Raven, the Frozen Red Knight, the AIM. Uh, I haven't really played too much of this season. Uh, I'm only level like 40 something. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. I've been playing a lot of the forest, been having a lot of fun. Um, I never really liked Battle Royale games. Um, I always played Call of Duty and stuff like that before Call of Duty actually turned into shit. Um, and then I started playing this game around season three or something like that. Excuse me. Um, I haven't really been playing it. Last season, I played it a lot. Uh, this season, not too much. I really don't dig it. After they take out the pump every time, it just, eh, I don't want to use the charge shotgun and I really don't like using the attack. But uh, hopefully you guys are having fun on this season. Like I said, I don't have no anything about this season at all. Uh, but we got Dynamo Dancer. This is my like, uh, combo that I have with it, like a blue with a white. It looks pretty good. Um, the Enforcer. We got the Eon. We have the Eternal Knight. We have the fusion, and guys, this is not a flex video, okay? Uh, I don't get it when people say, oh, we don't care about your Fortnite locker. Ah, you probably don't, honestly. Uh, I find these videos kind of interesting when I see what other people have as well. But um, this Galaxy uh, skin is actually going to be leaving today or tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. And then we get the Green Arrow skin for the uh, this pack or whatever the freak it is called. Uh, we got the Galaxy Scout. Um, we got the Mamaya, Mamaya, whatever you, I got roasted by calling her Maya, but it's Maya. We got Glimmer, don't really care about that skin anymore. The Heim, the Hybrid. Yeah, like I said, guys, I have a lot of skins. Um, I don't know, I just like collecting them. Uh, it just gave me something to do, but now I'm starting to collect Pokemon cards. Uh, I'm starting with the new Vivid Voltage set. Uh, if any of you guys collect Pokemon, I never really understood it until I started opening the packs and I was like, oh my god, this is so addicting. It's because you never know what you're going to pull and when you pull something really good, it feels so good. It feels, it's just fun. But the market right now for Pokemon cards is very high. Like my store that I work at sold out of Pokemon cards. I think they restock like every Thursday or something like that. But they're just always out. And I'm just trying to find the voltage ones uh, from Elite Trainer Boxes, ETBs to booster boxes or, or whatever booster boxes you can get online amazon and stuff like that but uh that's kind of like my new uh favorite hobby to do right now um is just pokemon cards man i just really want to get the full arts some ultra rares amazing rares it's just really fun if you guys never you guys probably won't understand it if you don't collect pokemon cards and stuff like that but uh it's very fun and a lot of you guys are probably like oh my god he's on fortnite again yeah i mean i'm just bringing you guys my end of locker tour you know i, I haven't really seen any of these skins in a very long time i have some really rare ones i have some old ones i have some new ones i guess um but here's velocity we got valor let me know what your guys' favorite skin is that i do have in the locker if you guys do even make it through the whole thing of this video if you guys don't trust me i fully understand i just would like to get a video out for you guys and just if i'm gonna do a fortnite video it's gonna be today because i have a lot of stuff planned for the weekend uh for my days off we got catwoman we got black manta i'm not gonna lie this season and the last season was very good for um skin concepts man this skin oh my god dude this is my favorite skin in the game. I had to buy this pack. Literally, you guys know why. But I literally had to buy that pack. It's so good. We got the Dark Knight movie outfit. Very cool. Batman. We got the Joker as well. Finally, they brought him in. Uh, we got the Frozen Fish Stick. We have so many variants of the Fish Stick in this game. It's unbelievable. Frozen Nogops. The Devourer. Now, I will always love this game. And I will always end up probably going back and playing it. But I probably, I don't know, ever since the like Black Ops Cold War, I just haven't been playing it as much. And uh, I just, that Dark Matter grind, man, I just haven't really had time to really play it as much as I'd like to uh, because I'm working. But there's nothing I can really do about that. We got Molten Omen. We got the Black Panther skin. Let's go, baby. Wakanda forever. That's awesome, man. Uh, we got the Cuddle Pool. Uh, Captain Marvel. If any of you guys would like me to do a giveaway for this uh, Marvel pack, let me know down below. Comment your um, your name down below, your Xbox, um, and uh, I'll just message someone, just give you guys like a $25 gift card or something like that, if you guys are into that. We got the Black Widow snowsuit, uh, Daredevil, just so you, you, I can give it back to you guys. Um, you got to make sure you are subscribed to the channel and drop a like on this video and comment. Um, and then I'll pick someone. Um, we got the Do Tony Stark. I did finish all the um, 
the foils in last season. I really enjoyed last season, man. It was really fun. I think that was the season they actually brought the pump back and it wasn't and they took the tack out. I think that was probably the best thing they could have done. But I see that they do got like a new fire shot. Well, it's not new anyway, not anymore. But they got this fire shotgun. I thought it was horrible when I first played it in the season. But uh, it, I guess this seems pretty good. We got Kylo Ren. We got the Star uh, Star Wars skins, Imperial Stormtrooper. Now, I don't really watch too much of the Mandalorian. But I did find out that a lot of people call him Baby Yoda. It kind of triggers me now. But his name is Grogu. It's not Baby Yoda. Now, it pisses me off a little bit, part of my language. When people call him uh, Baby Yoda when it's Grogu, uh, I will always call him Grogu now. But The Mandalorian looks like a really good TV show. I don't really watch TV or uh, movies, um, but if I did, I'd definitely watch The Mandalorian. It looks really, really good, uh, especially with uh, Fortnite. When you buy V-Bucks, you get like Disney Plus for like a couple months or something like that, I guess, um, which is pretty cool that they do that. We got Bone Ravage, Bright Gunner. We got Brutus. Oh, my God. I remember when they brought these skins in the game. Horrible, bro. You can't see your FOV is so bad. The Bunny Wolf. You got Cloak Star. Now, I'm happy that Cold War actually brought a uh, FOV slider in the game. Like, playing on that high of a FOV, like 105, feels so good compared to, like, the normal whatever and any other Call of Duty. Like, if you go and watch um, a Cold War video of, like, uh, 120 or whatever the max FOV is compared to, like, Black Ops 3 or MW, you look so close to the screen on those games compared to Cold War. It, it looks actually horrendous. So I'm happy that they finally did do that in Cold War. I was never, like, never understood it until I actually played it myself and felt it and, like, how different it is. And it feels so good and it looks so good as well. But we're not even halfway through this yet. But, uh, oh, my God. Like I said, guys, I spent a lot of money on this game because uh, I, I just like collecting things. I always saw this as a collection. Uh, I didn't really see it as, like, uh, half these skins I never even really used, honestly. But uh, Funk Ops, we got uh, Freestyle. Like I said, I started in Season 3. Uh, Grave, The Grim Fable. We got The Hazard Agent. Uh, we got The Heidi. Man, Season 3, Season 4 was my favorite season. It was so fun. Dusty Divot. I didn't really care for Dusty Divot when it first came out, you know? I was like, dang, this place sucks ass. But compared to now, I'll take those days back any day, dude. Like, it's insane. Jules, we got Kit. We got Kuno. They have a lot of cool skin concepts in this game. I feel like they've fallen off the wagon a little bit. I haven't even completed the new challenges they got in this game, honestly. Uh, for, like, the, the Winter Fest or whatever whatever the, it's called. I've never even, like I said, I haven't played it all. I'm falling behind. I'm probably just going to end up buying the Tier 100 just to get it over with. We got Midnight Dust, the Halloween skins. But, it, uh, dude, I'm so addicted to Pokemon, dude. It's all I literally think about is just I want to open packs. It's literally stupid. Like, if you guys haven't tried it, open one pack. You'll find out. That's all. I, I opened two ETBs. And I got some pretty good pulls out of it. It was actually my brother's ETBs. Um, and I, we got some really good pulls out of it, man. It was insane. He got, like, almost all the amazing rares. I, I, I'm just curious. How many of you guys do, like, collect Pokemon cards or getting into it? I'm just curious because I've never seen Pokemon, like, so big. It's like an investment. I have some pretty dope cards. If you guys would like to see me do, like, Pokemon pack openings and stuff like that, I will definitely do that and bring that to the channel. I'm down for that. Dude, that'd be fun. I see a lot of people... Um, do that like Leon Hart and the breaking Nate the real breaking Nate and stuff like that it's so interesting but you got to like learn it and like be interested into it like I said I never really understood it uh we got Sophia uh we got Sparkle Supreme we got Spooky Team Leader we got the Squall Leader we're finally halfway through Summer Fable Summer Drift I think I have like 300 and something skins maybe or something like that I don't know Stoneheart this is just my end of 2020 uh hopefully you guys did have a great year I know this one was pretty rough a lot of people say but as long as you're healthy and you're doing well and your family's doing well in these tough times, that's the only thing that, you know, is just, it just feels good. And especially me when I work at my job, I work at uh, third shift, which is night. Um, and then I get a lot of people that come in and just uh, say thank you for, you know, having the shelves stocked up and just, uh, I usually meet a lot of nice people, just bring positivity and just be nice to people. Um, even though if some people are just rude and stuff like that. We definitely don't need our country and uh, people to be, you know, rude to each other, especially the times like this, man. We just need everything to go back to way things were. I miss going out without and working without wearing a mask on. It's the worst thing ever. So um, uh, we need to get our stuff back and we will. We will overcome Baki. This is such an ugly skin. Oh, my God. Atlantean fish stick. The, uh, I, I really like this skin. Wearing a mask, though. They Fortnite knew it from the beginning, honestly. Arctic ass. Assassin, my bad. Uh, Absolute zero. Ripley versus Sludge. This is probably one of the cutest skins in the game. Like, I feel bad when I, when I kill a uh, Ripley, bro. I really do. We got Bandolette. 
We got Beach Bomber. We got Blinky. I bought this like a couple days ago, actually. I thought it was really cool. I don't really wear like male skins or anything, but I think this is a really cool concept. I like the lights of it. It's Christmas themed and stuff like that. Breakpoint, Brilliant Striker, Bright Bomber, Circuit Breaker, Cypher. But uh, guys, we are close. We're only 300 subs away from 2K. If we can reach that, oh my God, that would be amazing. I cannot wait. We definitely will hit it. Um, Codename Elf. Like I said, I don't upload a lot of Fortnite. I like to play a lot of different games. Call of Duty, The Forest. If you guys haven't seen my Forest uh, videos, they're pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Sorry that the rendering in there is like it lags sometimes and the, the game will freeze. But it, it doesn't happen to me on my screen. Like my game, when I play it, it's fine. It's just when it just for the video it just renders. But I think I figured it out. So the problem should be solved. Face it, fast it. We got fastball. Oh my god, there's so many skins, dude. Uh, just talking this much actually just makes my throat hurt. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta drink some water or something. Frosted Flurry. I recently bought this one. This is one of my favorite uh, uh, Christmas skins as well. Fortune, Fish Stick, uh, Haze, Holly Striker. You know, this is what, probably one of my most um, viewed videos is my Fortnite locker. Every female skin I own, it's got like a hundred and something thousand views or some shit. It's something stupid like that. It makes no sense. Like I try so hard on other videos. That one I didn't try hard at all and it gets that much views. YouTube's just that broken to be honest. Instinct, Laguna, Limelight. YouTube is a very hard game. It really is. It really is so, but I'm gonna say I have the drive and I really want to make it so we will make that happen Even if that takes another 20 years, you know, you know, I hope it doesn't take 20 years, but we will get to that 100 <coughs> Excuse me 100k Mika midnight ops outcast. We're finally into the rare skins. Oh my god payback We got penny with her little Halloween costume looks cool. They finally brought like the thick ass skin in the game Radiant striker Rini vs. toxin red nose raider. I don't even know if this game's even relevant anymore honestly i know a lot of people play it but it's so sweaty man that's the problem even with skill based matchmaking in the game i don't even care for it in call of duty but there's nothing we can really do about it so there's no point in me like wasting my time and complaining about it siren you got seeker you got skimitar you got scarlet serpent we got sag sergeant we got sandstorm we got the skull ranger we got scullius my favorite valentine's day skin circle ops we got snow bella this is a really cool concept i'm really happy they brought a female uh skin like that in the game that dude did a really good job with that he needs to make more skins for epic games they, they need to do more like community concepts they don't really do too much they need to because i swear to god there's some better community concept skins than there are the actual devs that make the skins it, it makes no 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 sense paradigm triple threat uh suki uh turk vs riptide there's a lot of these skins that i never really even used just bought them just to have them, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Wingtip, I haven't seen this in the shop in a very long time, but I haven't played the game in a very long time, so I can't even say I haven't seen it. Uh, Volley Girl, Yellow Jacket, one of my favorite skins in the game. Zorgotan, finally into the Uncommon, the Aura, the, oh, uh, okay, we're getting to the Ghostbuster skins now. They all have weird name. Bunny Moon, uh, Bullseye, and it's so hard, guys. I've been trying to find an Xbox Series X. I just cannot find one at all. They're so hard to find. It's unbelievable. I mean, honestly, PlayStation versus Xbox, I don't even think, like, everybody's just trying to game. I really don't. I just prefer Xbox because that's what I always played on. And I never really cared for the PlayStation 4 controller. But, um, I just like the Xbox One controller way better. Dominator, Devastator. I always tried to go for, when I bought these skins back then, was tried to get, like, both of them. Uh, the male version and the female version just to match them up. But there's just so much. Like, it's so much money. It's unbelievable. Jolly Jammer. We got the Jungle Scout, Ranger. We got the Nog Ops. Dude, I remember when that re-released. Holy. There were so many people rocking that thing. Mark Marauder, Manic. We're finally into the Uncommons, bro. Oh, my God. Power Patroller. This is definitely like freaking 300 skins. It's unbelievable. I went freaking Psychopaths. I, I don't know. I guess I really enjoyed this game back then. I had to have. This is like the only reason why I actually played the game, though, was because I liked the skins so much. And I had fun playing like duos with my homies and stuff like that but no i got nobody to play with i'm just playing forest all by myself trying to survive <laughs> played a little bit of gta that new update on gta is pretty fun i played a little bit of the heist and then i left the game because they always had the stupid little skun uh, thumbprint scanner um uh thing on there it's just annoying to do but we got the world warrior and then for the last one the yule tide ranger like i said guys this is just a video of my skins this ain't gonna be my whole locker i just want to do my skins if you guys do this video please make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new i really do appreciate it sorry that this video is long uh i try to do it as fast as i can but hopefully you guys do have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys later